Hello Collective, welcome back to the YouTube channel, of course. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I am sending you all, all the joy in the world. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies, and intend immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is being returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. Okay. All bondages placed in your path, in your life by your enemies, they are removed. All chains are broken. All curses are dismantle immediately and permanently as i have said so shall it be and judgment is final listen we're going to do a little thing different today let's see my baby and i we got together and created these really cute cards okay for the channel right we drew all of these and uh you know shaded them in and stuff like that so we're going to use these today instead of the other stuff the other cute stuff Let's go ahead and go and do this one, and then we'll do our tarot reading. Okay, so these are like tea leaf um, oracle cards we were trying to create. Let's see what comes out. I hope you all are staying blessed. It's been raining over here most of the day. Well, actually, yeah, it's been raining most of the day. I was going to try to correct myself, but... It's been raining most of the day. I love the rain. Oh, the zebra came out. The zebra came out. Oh, baby. So the zebra means that you may be needed by a friend. Someone may need your assistance. Um, so I don't know if this is a family member. Okay, this is, look, this is the zebra we created. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. Okay, she's very artistic. She got that from me. I'm going to gloat a little. <laughs> anyway, so you may have a friend that's in need. They think very highly of you. I'm not sure what this pertains to. Maybe someone is going through some type of distress, some type of loss. It could have to do with finances or someone may be in some type of dire situation where they need your assistance to get them out of it. Maybe someone is trying to get a hold of you, but they haven't been able to successfully get a hold of you. Um, so check... Um, Check your emails, check your mailbox, check your text messages and things like that. Um, and read your messages. Maybe it's from someone you want you don't want to hear from, but just let spirit guide you through that process. Um, but someone is most definitely in need of your assistance. It could be just for you to give them advice on how to proceed with a situation. Yeah, someone is definitely thinking about you as well and they need assistance, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. Really quickly, I had a vision, well, maybe like a, a month ago, um, there was someone in some type on some type of land. Um, they were standing on top of a cliff um, and it wasn't nothing danger dangerous. So don't please don't go let your mind drift enough. Um, they were standing like on top of a cliff. This was all like natural surrounding around them. Um, there was like a, a water stream going around like this cliff that they were standing um, on top of. So it was like two, two pathways met and then they merged into one. Um, but the pathway were water streams, right? So what it really looked like while a majority of the surrounding around this person was natural, um, the, the two paths were paved so they were like made out of cement, okay? And what the person did or whoever created it, they took, they, they paved the path um, out of cement um, and then they laid like really decent sized rocks in both paths and then somehow they created some type of water stream. So the water streams, they go, you know, they're separate and then they merge into one and then they're just floating down. Um, it was very beautiful. I think um, that's symbolic of two people coming together and becoming one. So maybe two twin flames, two soul mates, two higher level mates are coming together to become one. But whatever this was, was very beautiful. I've also been getting some type of download. Um, I think there is someone because I've been getting something about ritual, rituals, rituals a lot lately um there is either someone or a couple of people two three four people 
that have been doing some type of ritual. It's like they um, they do their ritual at nighttime. Okay, they're doing it at nighttime. And they're doing quite a lot of different rituals. They're trying to strip someone off of their gifts, off of their abundance. They're doing a lot of mental spells, a lot of heart spells. It's like someone is trying to strip someone's memory away. They don't want you to remember something. If you're someone very gifted, they don't want you being gifted. So they're trying to strip you off of your gift, but it's not working. The last ritual someone may have did or done or a group of people may have done could have backfired really horribly. And this is how it was ordained to take place. There's something where a group of people are just determined to destroy someone or to block two people from coming together. And they don't realize that judgment has already been placed on them before they even started this whole process of blocking two people. There, There's a whole group, either a community, a couple, uh, quite a few people under some type of judgment they don't realize they were already under before they even took the initiative to start carrying our rituals and causing blockages and things like that okay um so i just wanted to put that out there if you all are consistently going out to do rituals at night i don't know if you're going out in the woods going out in someone's backyard i more than definitely think you all are going out in the woods it's what i got you are being advised to put a heart to it. This is not going to end in your favor. You may want to move on, okay? You may want to move on because there's nothing but burdens ahead of you all. Difficulties, wounds that you won't be able to heal, okay? You may want to stop because you're headed for something. You're headed for disaster is what I'm being told. I was about to say you're headed for something horrible and they told me disaster. Like they, they interjected. They said disaster, Okay? They are wanting, there's something where a group of people, I don't know if they're grooming a masculine to come towards a feminine energy and present himself to be her counterpart. The ancestors said nothing but the emperor. So that means they're not settling for nothing but the emperor for whoever this feminine energy is. She's showing up here in the empress energy. That means that they don't want nothing less than an emperor with this woman. So... Whoever you all are prepping to send to someone, you may want to chill. I don't think you all realize quite how dire of a situation you are in. And I know a lot of you are operating with your ego, uh, from your ego, but you may want to chill. Um, I keep hearing something about 200 acres of land. I don't know if you all try to steal some properties or something, try to get someone to act like they don't know what happened. You try to uh, uh, bribe someone to let you pretend like something was not was not there or it didn't belong to someone this is going to be balanced out whatever you i said land and here goes okay whatever property you all are trying to steal trying to block someone from receiving it is being protected by their ancestors so it don't matter if you all try to keep it or try to sell it to someone else it's going to be recovered and you all are going to be in a heap of trouble okay with the law Something is absolutely being revealed so that it can be corrected, okay? Whatever you all were trying to do, it's a fail. It's a fail, I'm telling you. It's being corrected in the court system. Something has been brought to light. So whatever you all are trying to do, you may want to stop again. There's difficulties ahead of you. These wounds, you're going to be licking your wounds, but they won't be healing because your saliva don't have those healing properties. You may want to chill, there's a queen of wands. You have some legal issues coming in. You may want to be careful. Thread with caution. I don't know what's wrong with your brain. It's not operating like it's supposed to. You have a king of swords here that's going, that there's plenty to take some type of action to come towards someone, to come towards an empress energy. Someone may have emotions for you. Um, this, someone is literally just waking up. He definitely has a lot of emotions for you. This went from the two of cups to the ace of pentacles. I mean, the ace of cups. So there will be an ace of pentacles offer coming towards you as well, empress. And it's going to be wish fulfillment. Someone sees you, sees you, excuse me. <laughs> Someone sees you as wish fulfillment, okay? Someone is very content with the idea of you and them being together, you know, building some type of life for yourselves, okay? There is a woman that this man is with or was with, okay? And she just does not match up to something. It's like, I don't think he's thinking that she's not, 
you know, a woman or something, but there is something where this man just does not see himself with this woman anymore because they're not growing. They're not going in the same direction. They might as well be on two different planets right now. There's a woman that just refuses to mature the heck up, grow up. Someone is stuck in like some type of middle school mindset. She's like a middle schooler in a grown up body and it's really eerie and repulsive is what I'm hearing. So this man could be very repulsed by this woman's behavior. She's very karmic, very toxic. She makes life very difficult for this person. And he's just now waking up to that. She could be, <clears throat> excuse me, I was going to say she could have been, but it's saying she could be. She is orchestrating something from behind the scenes this man may not be aware of. So he's starting to look at things a little closer. Okay. He's starting to look at things a little closer. These people are afraid of this man coming towards you because it's going to put you in some type of powerful position. You're going to have authority over these people. And this is what they're trying to block. Okay. They're trying to block this. Okay. And he's standing his ground. This man does not care anymore. He's standing his ground to a queen of wands. He don't care no more. He wants to leave. He's done. He's done with the community. He's done with the Jizzy Bell. He's done with the family. He's going to go do what it is he wants to do because he sees his wish fulfillment somewhere else. Okay. There's something where maybe you and this man interacted before and, did, and he did see you as wish fulfillment, but because he was either with this woman or something happened where he was geared toward this woman, it interfered with some type of connection you two were supposed to have. Okay. You bring like the soft spot out of this man. Like you help, I'm telling you, you bring the soft spot out of him. You help this person get in touch with their inner child. This is someone who you go back to past lifetimes with. So someone here, you and this masculine have, you and this masculine, I said masculines. So you could have a few masculines that are interested in you. But this specific man here, this king of swords, you and him have some type of past life connection. You two have been incarnating together um, for quite a long time. I'm telling you, this is your twin flame. He may have some toxic ways to him. Maybe this is someone that likes to control his environment, his surrounding, the people in his life, especially the women in his life. He likes to have control because it makes him feel secure, but he's going to have to realize that you're not someone that's meant to be controlled because this is you. You're the Empress energy. You're content within yourself, right? You know your worth. You know what you deserve. So you're not going to settle for any of that. Where are you going? Who are you going with? How, when are you coming back? Don't do this. Don't do that. That's not your child. So he's going to have to relax. You're going to have to chill, my brother. My brother, you go chill or you go lose him. Okay. Yeah. He's going to have to chill. Let go within. This man wants to build a family with you. There's something where it's like this man wants to have something. Oh Lord. Somebody is in trouble. There's the sirens. Oh man. I'm telling you the last few weeks, it's been like sirens, sirens, and sirens everywhere around here. I don't know if there's a chase going on outside, but honey, we're going to stay out of it and mind our business. We'll find out a little later. It always comes. Yeah, it's a chase. There's something going on. Lord have mercy. What did the Carmex do now? What did they do? Hmm. Okay. Back to the reading. Okay. Where was I? This man here wants to have a family. Okay. And he knows who to go to to have this family. This man wants to communicate with you, okay? He may wants to want to give to you, balance something out in your life. This could be the person that wants to talk to you because of that zebra coming out saying that a friend may be in need of your assistance. This, yeah, he needs assistance. There's something going on in his life. Maybe heartbreak. Maybe he's going through a divorce or something like that and he wants to talk to you about it, but he's under judgment. He wants to ask you for forgiveness as well, but he's under judgment. So that means that there's something this man did behind the scenes that you're not aware of. And this is why he's under judgment. This could be someone very high ranking in a community, in an institution. There's something about a divorce or a separation that's going on. Okay. So maybe he's coming out of this really relaxed mindset. Maybe he was in an open relationship or maybe he didn't know he was in an open relationship. Wink, wink. And now he wants to be in something more traditional. He wants to be in something more traditional. 
traditional. This is absolutely someone very high ranking in a community. Very high ranking. So the decisions he makes, yeah, the decisions he makes are final. There's no asking him questions. Someone may have lied to this masculine and it's causing a lot of problems behind the scenes. There could be a feminine energy that went to a st an extensive length to tell some type of lie and then try to cover it up. Uh, got other people involved in this community, right? So she's been telling a whole lot of lies. Yeah. Someone, someone wanted to work with you because you somehow know how to team that beast within that person. Like you bring some type of calmness to them, some type of joy to them. And they didn't like that. It's like a feminine energy was in competition with you. Right. And they didn't want him giving you an offer because what they knew was going to turn into a 10 of pentacles. They didn't want you thriving. So they went into cause stagnation, either in your work, your position or something like that in order to interfere with this man connecting with you. Keep him in his mind thinking whether or not he should even connect with you. But the truth has been exposed and he does want to give you an offer and he does want to commit with you because he knows that you are very genuine. It's only going to start off as a friendship initially because he knows you probably have a hard time trusting him and any of these people, but it's going to be something very solid. Okay. This is something that's meant to be. Okay. So he could be on rock coming towards you and this is causing a tower for these people, but it's leading to a victory for you because this is an offer, a gift to you from the most high and it's bringing clarity. Him coming towards you is going to lead to some type of clarity because he's going to tell you the truth about what has been going on in, in an institution, uh, how they've been trying to keep you blocked keep you confined, restricted, but they're the ones in this mindset. They're in some type of mental imprisonment because there's clarity. You are free to go. You are not in prison. You're nobody's prisoner. You're nobody's victim. You are free to go. Okay. You speak your truth and stand up for the truth. There's a queen of swords in here that may have martyred herself. People are seeing the truth about what she's been doing behind the scenes. And it's leading to some type of confusion with these people. They're arguing and fighting. They've been arguing and fighting a lot because someone wants to communicate to you about some type of thievery that's going on behind the scenes by a queen of pentacles. She may have stolen from you, tried to steal from you, possibly a property. She tried to steal from you, stole a house or something like that. Or she's being, because of the actions, actions uh, she took behind the scenes is leading to her being excommunicated from a community because there's something she did that is absolutely unforgivable. So she's being excommunicated from this community and cannot return. Okay. She's going to have a lot of time to think about all these people she got together to work against you. But balance has been brought into this situation for you, queen of cups, because you stood your ground and people see you for who you are now. Okay. And you are going through some type of rebirth to become and be seen as what you really are. This is actually what's going on for you. And it's leading to some type of brand new passionate beginning for you. You can stay hopeful because the, your future is clear and bright. You are supported by the universe. Okay. So whatever these people have been doing behind the scenes is absolutely out in the open. It's out in the open. People know the truth. They've been working hard to keep this secret. Keep this hidden. I'm telling you, it's all out in the open. There are no more secrets. Everything is out. Everything, everything is out. Okay? People are losing too much behind the scenes for trying to steal from you. There's some type of big revelation going on about how someone stole something or tried to steal something that does not belong to them. And it's been taken from them. This was a group of friends that were working together and they were celebrating a little too early. And now they're going through some type of tower because an emperor is stepping in to do the right thing. He knows deep down that they did something. OK, they could be trying to confuse this emperor to make him see things in a different light. But he knows the truth. He's keeping his distance from these people. Maybe this is the emperor. Your, your ancestors are saying nothing less than the emperor. So they want to make sure that, you know, you are not to settle for anything less than an emperor. OK, OK, someone someone needs to hear that. I'm telling you, they are fighting. This car has been showing up a lot during the readings. These people are arguing behind the scenes. They're trapped. They're losing finances. Some of them are having to pinch pennies, but lo and behold, they're still focused on you 
trying to cause you endings, trying to steal from you. They won't be able to take anything from you. And for, for those of you where these people did try to do you something and try to steal from you, whatever they took from you is going to be stripped from them and returned to you because it does not belong to you. For someone out there, your ancestors want you to know whatever belongs to you is being protected. Whether that's a house, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a property, land or something, it is being protected. They cannot have it. Okay. They may be under some type of illusion that they got away with something. They didn't get away with it. There's balance being brought into this situation. These people are trying to sneak this emperor here. So he may want to be mindful. He may want to be mindful. And there's an emperor behind the scenes too, trying to do something to another person. But whoever he's trying to come after is protected. Very protected. There's nothing he can do. Okay. There is nothing he can do to this person. This is a whole lot of hocus pocus to keep two people apart or to steal something that does not belong to you. This is too much hocus pocus. These people have a whole lot of, le I'm telling you, legal issues coming out. There's clarity in the justice system. The justice system knows the truth about what these people were doing and how they were able to get victory. They did it by betraying someone and causing difficulties in someone's life and bribing people behind the scenes. Now that people have clarity about what has been going on, they're looking into the truth about this karmic group. The whole entire group is under judgment, being reviewed. Everything, paperwork, everything they've done is being reviewed. Okay? And someone in this group here is seeing things from a higher perspective and may want to communicate with you. There goes the communication card. Could be a king of wands, burning behind the scenes because he's going through some type of loss as well. And there's a queen of pentacles as well going through some type of loss for paying people to keep you waiting, all right, not so that you wouldn't receive something that belongs to you. She's been causing a lot of stagnations and things like that. And now she's burdened and worried about a decision that has been taking place, that has been made for her to be exiled again out of this community. This woman is being excommunicated. She's being let go from a community. She cannot stay. People didn't know what this woman was up to behind the scenes there. There's a select group of people that were aware that she was trying to steal from someone or stole something from someone. And now it's being balanced out. And she's basically like a sheen to this community. She brings embarrassment to this community. Okay. So just be mindful of that. I don't think if, if some of you are returning to the past, this person won't even be there when you get there. Or if she's there, she's going to have to lick her wounds and kiss your behind as much as possible in order to keep her job if she's still there. But I doubt it. She's being let go. Someone is being let go. Being let go. Okay? For stealing. For trickery, bribery, lying. Everything you can think of, someone has been doing it. And while she's falling from grace, you're about to be stepping into abundance. This woman has a very hard path ahead of her. Very difficult path of, ahead of her. Because there's a lesson she needs to learn. Someone needs to learn the lesson of being humble. Humbling, humbling their, themselves. Someone is very entitled, very greedy, very superficial. Feels like she knows everything, but she's an airhead walking around. I don't know what the heck. It, this woman has some type of mental issues. Absolutely mental issues. So she's going to have to learn that lesson in order to thrive maybe the next lifetime or whenever. But someone is, I'm not going to say cursed, but for the rest of this lifetime, someone is going to be going through karma because she's too vain. Even with everything going on and people going through endings around her, she is still determined to keep causing you uh, heartaches, keep causing you blockages. I don't think she's causing any of you uh, uh, heartaches, but she's just trying to cause you as much difficulty as possible. But now she's having to go within and think about her options. What she's been investing in is not looking good for her. Okay. She needs to think if what she's investing in is even worthy because she's out here going from the seven of pentacles to the freaking four of pentacles. This woman is coming from a community that's in a 10 of pentacles energy. And she's gone from a 10 of pentacles to a seven of pentacles to a, <laughs> to a four of pentacles to the freaking three of pentacles. Come on, make it make sense. And you're still going. She's still determined to keep going. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, ma'am. Can is hate really that important to you? Yeah. Look, five of cups. Cut your loss. Move on. This is what I've been telling you repeatedly on this channel. Cut your loss and move on, but you won't listen. You're stubborn as heck. You're vain. It came out again. 
This is what you didn't see coming. You were paying people to cause blockages and stagnation for someone. And you didn't see this coming. When you started paying people, what did you tell yourself? I have all the money in the world to block you. I have all the money in the world to pay people to block you. Right? Yeah, there you go again. You had all the money in the world. It seems like you don't anymore. You, you're losing everything. Someone could even be losing a house. This is someone that acts from behind the scenes. Acts from behind the scenes. But publicly, publicly you see her. She acts that she's very intellectual, very easy to get along with youthful everything but someone is very dark behind the scenes very dark small-minded close-minded limited <sighs> she has a limited mindset a limiting mindset and she doesn't even know it i'm telling you she's the one that has herself in this position in life she martyred herself hung herself in may air for the rest of the world to see that she don't got two screws tight in her head. Nothing is working like it's supposed to. So she's just hanging out there swinging like a piñata. Hey, folks, take a whack at me. I don't got no senses. Hey, folks, take a whack at me. I don't got no senses. Common sense definitely is not in her garden. It is not a flower in her garden. So she's going to have to figure it out. Okay. Whatever communication this woman has been trying to block, you're still going to get it. Something may have been revealed to you in the dream state. Because the communication they're trying to give you in the physical state, someone has been interfering with it. So your ancestors, you need to pay attention to your dreams. They are communicating to you and with you in your dreams. So pay attention, okay? There's something where it's like someone needs, someone named either Nia or Naya keeps showing up in my dream. I keep hearing your name in my dream. I don't know what your problem is, honey. I don't get no good energy from you, good vibes, nothing. Stay away. Get out of my dreams. Yeah, you're into rituals, darling. I don't trust you. You do some type of moon rituals. I don't know if you're trying to strip me of my abilities or whatever you're trying to do. It's very entertaining, but honey, we're still here and telling the messages like we're supposed to getting those downloads. I don't know what you're trying to do, but it's entertaining. You keep trying to get yourself into my space, my energy. I don't know what the heck is going on with you, but you need to find a chill pill. And you keep asking, how does she know my name? That should tell you something. You're barking up the wrong tree, okay? You are barking up the wrong tree and need to sit down somewhere. You keep asking yourself. Yeah, I'm telling you, you keep asking yourself, how does she know my name? You're wondering. You've been wondering about this. How does he know my name? How does he know my name? How do you think we know your name, darling? Huh? Aren't you the gifted one? I thought you said you were the gifted one. I thought you were the gifted one. How do you know my name? <laughs> keep projecting. Keep keep astral projecting. You're gonna you're gonna go to sleep one of these days and wake up different. Wake up a little different. Says something's up with Nia. What's going on? Oh, folks, it's okay. Nia is just stuck somewhere. Nia is not Nia anymore. <laughs> this used to be Nia. <laughs> that used to be Nia. What happened to Nia, folks? <laughs> Nia lost her mind. Her spirit got stuck in the spirit realm. She can't come out. That's what's about to happen to Nia. <laughs> don't, don't worry, Nia. You just keep on astral projecting. You're going to find out. Keep on astral projecting. Keep it up. <laughs> Some of us only have to say one word and you're stuck. Can't go nowhere. So keep entertaining us. Thinking you're not seeing. Anyways, this man is thinking on how he can come towards you. There's an empress as well in here. Uh, while you're showing up as all of your different energies collective in your reading... There's a mother figure or wife figure behind the scenes that's trying to figure out how she can come towards you to give you some type of opportunity. I don't know if she's trying to pay you off. There's something about this offer this woman is coming coming to you with. I don't know if she does not want you and her son or, or her ex-husband is what I'm hearing coming together, ex-lover, whatever this is. She's coming in. To give you some type of payment. She does not want you and this masculine coming together. I'm telling you. This woman wants to fight you. So this is absolutely an ex-wife. Ex-lover. She wants to fight you. Girl. Who got time? You know when. You all know when you hit a specific age. You're, 
The injuries don't heal the same way anymore. They take forever. You remember when you were young and you got injured, the next day you woke up, it was healed and it disappeared like magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. When we get to a certain age, honey, that stuff don't work like that no more. It don't work that way. Honey, You, it don't work that way. We be out here just birding and say, when is this little cut going to... It's a freaking paper cut. When are you going to heal? And it just be there and there and just a looking at you and say, I'm here. Count me part of you now. I'm here. And you want to be out here picking fights with people? Girl, you better sit down somewhere. This is not a smart choice, ma'am. That is not a smart choice. I'm telling you, you're going to have issues. 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 You better stay where you are. Let your bones keep on boning like they're like they're boning in because if you come to work someone to pick a fight it's not going to end too well for you it's not going to end too well for you you don't know what you're stepping into dear stay over there don't go towards the collective trying to come in and bribe someone tell them i have an offer for you girl stay where you are nobody got time for this, for this gas lighting i have an offer for you I think you really appreciate it, uh -huh, girl. <laughs> and then she can turn around and sucker punch you or something. Get you caught up in some type of legal issues. Pissed off because someone sees you as wish fulfillment. And she don't know how to let go. A grown woman that does not know how to let go. Manipulating people behind the scenes and things like that. Girl, nobody want no offer from you. Keep it. You need it more than we do. Sources, sources providing for us. You need it more than we do. You may want to be practical about that decision you're making, dear. Coming towards someone to pay them so they don't accept a love offer from someone. You crazy. Are you crazy? I'm telling you. Yeah, they're not able to steal. She was not able to steal from you. She wasn't able to cause any type of madness. This is all she does is tell lies. She's blind as a bat. Can't see two from two. Don't know the difference between the uh, north and south. But want to come in and bribe you so you don't accept an offer from someone. I'm telling you, this woman has paid someone to come towards you. She paid a freaking knight of cups to come towards you, to steal from you. He's not able to. Before he even took action, he was exposed. It's a, uh, they know. They, how do you know they know? I just know they know. I just know they know. Let's stick for a second. Someone's watching my platform. <laughs> and they come here to get readings and things like that. It is it's something. I say, oh yeah, she knows. He's gonna know. She's gonna know if I go towards her. He's gonna know if I go towards him. She pays someone to come in and do you something, and she's already exposed. Nobody wants that offer, dear. My goodness. Oh, it's causing a burden. <laughs> Why are these people so worried about two people coming together? Why are they so worried? Why are you so worried? She wasn't able to steal your destiny is what I'm hearing. Oh, poor little thing, thing. I'm telling you, she was not able to steal your destiny. Your abundance, your energy, anything she was. Oh, yeah. Whatever she was planning is a fail. Whatever they were planning is a fail. It's a disappointment. This masculine is still moving on, moving forward, still taking action. Has a lot of passion for whoever he's going towards. He said, giddy up, Hersey. We got places. We got a place to go. We got places to go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Giddy up. Giddy up. Giddy up. Giddy up. <laughs> and he's coming with his sword. He's just waiting for one of them to say something. He said, you better be practical about this situation. You better watch your mouth before you say what you're about to say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. He don't care. Oh, yeah. It's an unhappy woman behind the scenes. This is the woman they want him to stay with, the toxic one, the crazy one, causing him nightmares. So, But she want to keep pretending like they're happy together. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Illusions. Said, no, we've been together forever. You got to choose me, girl. You are pick, you, you one of the pick me, pick me, B-I-T-C-H-S. You're a pick me. Girl, you better not <laughs> begging a man to stay with you and choose you. What the heck are you doing? Why are you out here dishonoring women? Why are you out here set on embarrassing us? The truth is exposed, honey. 
Dang. <laughs> Dang. Everybody's secrets are out. Jizzy Bell is out here embarrassing women, talking about, pick me, pick me, pick me. What? Come on, sister. Come on. Have a little bit of more self-respect and nods. I don't care. You got two cents in your pocket. Have a little bit more to, bit more uh, self-respect in that. Come on now. Stop embarrassing us women out here. Okay? Have some class about yourself. I don't care what's going on. Anyways, someone wants to come in and give you an offer. They want to balance things out with you. Okay? He may be unhappy about something these people did to you in the past. That temper with your abundance. Yeah. They didn't want you two coming together. That's what this was. That's what it had to do with. And they don't want this message coming out either. But here, we, here it is. Here it is. Just on time. Collective, just on time. Here it is. All the secrets are out. All the secrets are out. And they're all out here confused, fighting, don't know which way to go. They're being seen exactly for who they are. The love offer coming is not genuine at all. Someone's coming with ulterior motives because he was sent to worse you. Lord have mercy. He's going to come and say, hey, I'm your twin fling. We go back past lifetimes. And you're going to be looking at him like BS. You're not my uh, twin fling. You were sent to distract me. My ancestor said nothing less than the emperor. Okay, we need you. So giddy, um, giddy up, 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 giddy up, 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 back where you came from on your little cute horse. That little cute horse of yours. We need you to get back on there and giddy up far, far away from us. Be gone. Okay. Be gone. Be gone. I don't know how much she paid you. It had to be a good amount. Had to be a good amount for you to accept it, to want to come in and... Play with someone's top, play on someone's top, and you're under judgment. If you come through with that mess, <laughs> you're under judgment. You better stay where you are. I'm t <laughs> you better stay where you are, cut your loss, and move on. Don't even bother. Don't bother, because it ain't going to work. Don't bother. Why are you bothering? Leave us alone. You want to argue. We don't want to argue with you. You're mad. Leave us alone. Listen. People are going to have to cut their losses and move on. Cut your losses and move on. These two people are coming together, whoever they are. These are past life soul mates. They are definitely coming together. All the illusions are out here. The, 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 the black magic, the rituals are not working anymore. Lord, it's a hot mess. Dot com, dot net, dot org, maybe even dot gov. It's a hot mess out here. The rituals are backfiring. These people don't know what to do. They're kind of having to think a whole lot. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. What shall we do next? Oh, I don't know. Move on with your lives. Try to rebuild your lives. Yeah, you're all under judgment. Someone in here wants to ask for forgiveness. They want to heal and move on with their... Yeah, they want to heal and put an end to this chapter and move on with their life. But there's someone in here who's a narcissist that wants to keep going and the whole group is about to turn on them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, honey. The whole group is about to turn on someone. They like, you just don't get it. We're done. This is not going anywhere. You're not succeeding. The whole group is done, but someone wants to keep going. You see that right here? They know they cannot take from you. They can't block your future. What's yours is yours. So they got to cut their losses and move on. They're already exposed for being in the reverse. Horrible character, causing stagnations, manipulation, blinding people from the truth. Everything is exposed. So what are you all still doing? What are you doing? I mean, you're trying you're out here trying to do rituals and your emotions are all over the place. Now, I don't do rituals, but even I can tell you that you need to have your emotions in check in order to go and do these rituals. But you are out, out here throwing fits, being angry, all kinds of stuff, cursing and everything before you do the rituals. 
you got to have a little bit of respect for nature. If you're going out in nature at nighttime to do these rituals, oh, you better be respectful of the environment you're in. But you're all out here so burdened because all your secrets are out and exposed so you don't know how to contain yourself. But you still want to go through with the rituals. Make it make sense, Sally. Make it make sense, Amanda. Make it make sense, Marie. We don't know. Yeah, don't be going out in nature with no nasty uh, uh, energy. This is the kind of energy you're supposed to have when you're in nature. Mine is the pentacles. You know, just down to earth. Singing with the birds, showing appreciation to the birds, showing some love, listening to them. You see how you see how gentle that woman is. She fits into the scenery. You see how she, she fits in there? She just blends in very beautifully. But you go out into nature to cause endings. Look at this mess here. You don't even fit in. It's like they're looking at you like what? You see how these these everybody's wondering. All the forces of the universe are wondering what what is going on with this person. What are they doing? The ego is trying to figure it out. The man is trying to figure it out. The the bull is trying to figure it out. The lion is that what the heck is going on? Why is this person out here like this? You got to move on. You're too burdened. You're not seeing straight. These people are still coming together. And you're still going to keep fighting. But guess what? They're still coming together. Because justice has been called by the heavenly realms. Okay? This tower here, you all cannot avoid it. There's a queen. There's a high priestess amongst you all that's going through what? A tower. Inevitable. Okay? These people, I mean, these are past life connections you all are trying to interfere with. These connections are destined by the divine. What are you doing? These are past life connections. I don't know what kind of finances you are getting out of these connections with these divine masculines and divine feminines that you don't want to let them go. But honey, they are in a hurry to get away from you all because they know you're trying to keep them tracked, trying to end them. Come on. There's a there's a, a, a plan to end a king of cups. Maybe this is your divine masculine who is not typically a king of cups, but because of his emotions for you, he's showing up in this energy. But there's a king of cups going through an ending behind the scenes. For some of you, this is your ex going through an ending. You cannot help this person. Maybe this is the person that needs help. You can't help this person. This is, oh, yeah, you cannot help this person. You're going to have to move on and let them eat their humble pie. Because some of you, these people, these men, these women got into something that you have never gotten into. And now they're stuck in something. You're going to have to move on and let them figure it out. They left some of you for dead. So let them, yeah, they left some of you for dead. So let them figure it out with their new friends. Okay? Okay. Oops. The friends can't help. The friends are the one rejecting. Oh, listen. The friends can't help. The friends are the one rejecting them because while they're stuck in the same situation, the exes are. Oh, birds of a feather flock together. It's the three musketeers. All for one and one for all on the judgment. Look at that. And it's nothing but burdens from your ancestors and it's final decision. Burdens, anxiety, all plans have failed. Lord have mercy. Mm, 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 mm. You're just in there wondering. Hey, 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 hey. You think she's going to talk to me? No, she ain't going to talk to you. You think he's going to talk to me? No, he ain't going to talk to you. He moved on with his life. She moved on with her life. She chose herself. He chose himself to move on. He chose love. She chose love. All she did in isolation was perfect herself, achieve ascension. All he did in isolation was this. Okay, master himself, master herself. So whatever you're going through, X, you're going to have to figure it out. Trying to send communications and things like that. We can't help you. We can't help you. These are the kind of people when they're stepping into the hot pot, you tell them, hey, that pot is hot. Don't touch it. They first start off with touching the pot. You said, don't touch that pot. It's hot. What do they do? When you're not looking, it's like a child. 
You tell them don't touch something. Okay, mommy. They're just waiting for you to turn so they can touch it. So someone was reaching for the hot pot and you told them don't touch that hot pot. It ain't going to end well. I, you, you told them these new friends of yours, it ain't going to lead to nothing but heartbreaks. When you're going, when, when, when everything comes to the surface, don't, con don't contact us for help. That's what some of you told them. Don't come to me for help. When the truth comes out, don't come to me for help. Mm. Now they're learning the hard way. Could be a Leo in here going through legal issues, having financial issues as well. Martyr himself with these people wanting to leave, but he can't leave. Stuck with some type of Jesse Bell energy that don't got nothing going on for herself but burdens. Because of some type of action she took against you with someone else. The King of Wands, another freaking Leo. And they're all going through burdens. Okay, someone is going through some type of uh, betrayal. Possibly your ex. And it's leading to an ending for him. Honey, you can't help him. You can't help her. You can't help him. You can't help her. He's going to have to figure it out. She have done some freaking self-actualization. Uh, Self-actualize. Some people, you you know, you can, what do they say? You can take the horse to the water, but you can't make the water. You can't make the horse drink the water. Okay? You can take the horse to the water, but you can't make the horse drink the water. Someone is finding out that you have drank the water. The water was right there the whole time. It was right there the whole time. They even had the cup to drink the water. They even had the cup to drink the water right there. You see the moon just her looking down. She don't close her eyes and everything. She said, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The water is right there. Come on. Just freaking take a cup. You got eight of them. Eight of them. Take one of them and just drink the water. He said, nope. I'm not drinking the water. It's said, okay. Meaning someone had a fulfilling life with you, but they took it for granted. They took it for granted to go partner up with someone else, only to find out they were martyring themselves with this queen of wands. And they're both going through burdens. You can't help this person. Can't help either of them. Okay? Made their bed, let them lay in it. Oh, someone is still thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. You gotta think. Hey! Think, think, think. You gotta think. Hey. And he's burning behind the scenes because you got you have a love offer coming in. She's burning. I don't know what you getting a love offer has to do with the both of them, but hey. Why is a karmic a karmic? The world would never know. I said the world would never know, and the two of swords came out. The world would never know. Because we all had the same 24 funky hours in a day to do everything we want to do. Work on our dreams, answer our calling, find out our calling, get acquainted with the ancestors. We, have, we, we all have the same funky 24 hours in a day, don't we? But some people don't know how to utilize theirs. You manage to utilize yours and find your calling in your life and they want to come in and temper with it, causing illusion so you can lose your lose yours. They don't want you having options. They said, who are you to be having options? You ain't nobody. The whole time, you everything. I'm telling you, you're everything. <laughs> you're everything. You're everything. You are everything. And they are stuck. All time, you are everything, all that in a bag of chips. And they are burdened by that. So they try to make people think that you ain't nothing. You don't add up. Yeah. And that's why they're losing everything for coming for you. Mm. Someone should have cut their loss and moved on. Now they're losing everything. Can't even commit to the plan anymore. The plan to block you in you. They're having a hard time committing to it. But someone's resources is out of balance. Someone depleted themselves. Someone lost a whole lot of money coming for you. Someone is down. Mm, yeah, they got to walk away. They got to walk away. They're being forced to walk away by your ancestors. Is there every time? Yeah, honey. Your ancestors are telling someone to walk away. Is there every time you do something to this person, we're going to take something away from you. And they kept chipping. They did it like a mouse. It's what I'm hearing. She's <laughs> in a pettiness. <laughs> It's the pettiness for me. Some of you ancestors are petty out here. They are on that petty time. 
They said we did it like a mouse. You know how mice is? They just chip away at things. They said that's how we did it. We did it little by little. Every time we did it, they said, uh, it's okay. I'll replace it. <laughs> they said he didn't know behind the scenes. We were blocking his his options to replace it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. He said, every time we chipped away, he said, hey, I'll replace it. It ain't nothing. I'm going to keep blocking you. Your ancestors said, we just kept chipping away little by little, little by little, little by little. And he thought he had options, you know, avenues to replace it. So we started closing all those avenues. All his streams of income, all her streams of income, we started closing it. He said, nope, nope, knock it down. Nope, knock it down. Nope. He said, we were just there playing Russian roulette. Pop out. That's gone. Pop out. That's gone. That's gone. And before he knew it, this was him. Now you got to move on and figure out. Now he wants to ask for forgiveness. He said, I'm so sorry for doing this to you. He said, what? And this is when you play along. What did you do, sir? What did you do? Oh, it's solace. He don't want to tell you how he martyred himself coming for you. Oh, you know, I went in and, and played with your, your money, you know. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Uh, I didn't know. Whole time you knew. You said, oh, really? Oh. It's okay. It's okay. It ain't okay. Them ancestors is on your behind. Oh, yeah. They, they are on your behind. They got you tied up, bonded, everything. They said, you ain't going nowhere. You are staying right here. We came to collect, and you're going to give us everything. I'm telling you, these ancestors are not here to play. You're going to give us everything you took, and then some collateral damages. They want everything back. Everything, everything, everything. Someone's uh, stuck in their mind. They're just like, I don't know how this is happening. We've done this before. How are we losing everything? Why are we the ones burdened? Why is it, sir? Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, I said burden, and the ten of wands came out. Why are we the ones burdened? We took action to end this person. Why are they not burdened? This is why they're not burdened. This is why they're not burdened. <laughs> Their ancestors don't play about them. You all the whole time that he knows someone was being protected from all of your nonsense you were doing. All of your nonsense. I told you, didn't I tell you all oh, this woman was going to lose her job? What is this? What is this? This is what this woman wanted for you. This is what's happening for her. Even if something comes to an end for you, it's going to be replaced by something even more abundant. So you got nothing to worry about. But this is your enemy losing their jobs, unable to commit anymore to the task that they laid out for themselves. It's like every day I'm going to wake up around the clock. Someone was doing rituals faithfully. Someone was paying people faithfully. It was part of her budget to pay people to cause endings for other people. Can you imagine? I'm trying to imagine myself putting in all that hard work every day to make my my little, my little coins, right? And then because I don't want two people coming together or because I envy someone, I go in my bank account, get some money to go pay someone, hey, I need you to bully this person. I, I need you to, to vouch that she's a liar or she's mentally unstable. He's mentally unstable. He's a liar. I need you to block this person. I need you to not give this person a promotion. I need you to block this person's platform. Can you imagine? For what? And then in the end, only for the very people you didn't want coming together to come together? Oh, honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Source, I'm ready to come home. If I was her, that would be me. Source, yeah. I said I'm ready to come home. Tap out. I'm out. You know, like when you're playing those hunger games and stuff, you, you, where, where is the tap out button at? Where is the tap out button? You want to tell me I did all of this and they're still coming together? It's still disappointment for me? Tap out. That's when you say, mm, 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 pineapples. I don't like it. I don't like it. Pineapples. Okay. All right. Do we want to, let's do our uh, Oracle cards. We're almost running out of these. I'm going to have to put the 
the other set back with it so that it's complete. Oh, heart's desires. Look at that. Man, please. Swords don't got time. Yes, you are enough. Swords don't got time to be playing with you people. Madness. Complete madness. And the heart desire showed up again. Come on. Come on. Playing all these childish games. Open doors. Telling you. You have many options. Uh, so take your time to choose what's right. Making plans. Okay? Don't be rushing into nothing. You may have a lot of options coming towards you also. Maybe a lot of companies are interested in working with you. Maybe a lot of love options and things like that. Listen, relax. My sister, my brothers, relax. Chill. Don't, don't, no rush. Relax. Okay? Relax. And think before you make your decisions in life. Don't be in a hurry to take nothing except nothing. Okay? Chill. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I see you in my next free. Goodbye for now.